The Aeronautical Development Agency has released a tender for building a new Ironbird facility for futuristic manned aircraft, which will be used to test the flight control systems of Tejas Mark II and AMCA Stealth Fighter. An Ironbird facility is a ground-based test device that is used for prototyping and integrating various systems like aircraft line replaceable units hydraulics actuators cockpit and avionics during the development of new aircraft design. Aircraft systems are installed into the Iron Bird, so their functions can be tested both individually and in correlation with other systems. US firm General Atomics has announced a partnership with Bharat Forge Limited in the critical field of aerostructure manufacturing, and provide India with an opportunity to manufacture main landing gear components sub-assemblies and assemblies of remotely piloted aircraft in the country, and develop a manufacturing ecosystem for high-end military drones. India is in an advanced stage of negotiations with the US to procure 30 MQ-9B Predator armed drones to crank up its surveillance apparatus along the frontier with China as well as in the Indian Ocean region. The Argentine Air Force is putting together a team of specialists of pilots and technicians that will be visiting India during the Aero India 2023 to evaluate the Tejas light combat aircraft. HAL has offered its Tejas Mark 1A aircraft without British components, and HAL will brief the Argentinian team about the customization program that will be initiated if Argentina places order for 12 aircraft. <laughs> India has released a no time warning over the Bay of Bengal for the period between 10th to 11th of January 2023, and the designated length is 365 km which is similar to a previous no time in 2022 for the 350 km range Prithvi 2 surface-to-surface nuclear-capable short-range ballistic missile. The Prithvi 2 has a 500 kg warhead, and uses an advanced inertial guidance system with maneuvering trajectory to hit its target. Israeli company Rafael Advanced Defense Systems Limited has announced, that after researching and analyzing the lessons learned from the extensive use of Russian tactical ballistic missiles in Ukraine, the company has upgraded its Spider rare defense system, and it is now capable of intercepting tactical ballistic missiles. India operates 18 Spider surface-to-air defense systems, and media reports indicate that some countries are already negotiating to get an upgrade of their existing version, as well as purchase of the new variant. The Ministry of Defence intends to lease one product tanker for three years for refuelling Indian Navy ships, under by Indian category with more than 60% indigenous content, and it should be capable of transferring between 5,000 and 30,000 tonnes of fuel. The lease of a tanker also indicates, that even after years of negotiations and changing timelines, the long-delayed $2 billion project to build five fleet support ships at Hindustan shipyard with technology transfer from Turkish Anadolu shipyard has stalled. Bangladesh intends to use India's $500 million line of credit for military purchases such as bulletproof jackets and SUVs and trucks from Indian firms like Tata Motors and Mohindra, and trials are being carried out currently, and orders are expected very soon. India has also offered to assist with spares and support for Mi-17 helicopters AN-32 transport aircraft and MiG-29 fighters. Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited has said that the company will be responding to the Indian Army's request for information to acquire 400 units of 155mm 52 caliber towed gun systems, and will offer the 155mm 52 caliber Danush Howitzer, that was developed on the baseline 155mm 45 caliber Howitzer. That has already been ordered by the Indian Army in 2019 for 114 units. Oh, Mark,